essentially the visual differences between the 125 and the 150. The rest remains the same, including the lovely 14-inch wheels, sharp bodywork, basic dials, to be upgraded to a digital display on the SR150, or and switchgear of rather average quality. The SR125 or borrows its motor from the Vespa 125, but in a slightly different state of tune. Where the Vespa makes 10.06 horsepower and 10.6 newton meters, the Aprilia makes a lower 9.52 horsepower and 9.8 newton meters. Thankfully, the performance doesn't seem to suffer at all, probably because the Aprilia runs a different gearing to the Vespa, similar to the setup on the SR150. In terms of curb weight, Aprilia quotes the same 122 kilograms as the SR150 so there are no gains there. The engine produces a gruff sound but actually feels pleasantly smooth and unstressed throughout the rev range. We haven't tested it yet, but going by the sheer seat of the pants feeling, this feels like the quickest scooter in the segment. 80 km per hour comes up with these and the speed O'Neill keeps climbing until it maxes out at 120 km per hour. Incredible as that may sound, our experience with the SR150 reveals that the speedometer is highly optimistic and that true speed actually hovers around the 100 km per hour mark. Still, that's quick for any scooter in this segment. So, yes, the SR125 has a top speed pretty much on par with its big brother, but the difference comes in with noticeably less urgency when you open the throttle, especially at lower speeds. We haven't had a chance to test fuel efficiency either, but Aprilia says it should return about 4-5 kpl, about 10% more. Absolutely. And that's no surprise considering that the chassis, suspension, and brakes are the same. The 14-inch wheels offer unmatched levels of stability and the tie-sourced V-rubber offers impressive grip. Braking performance is excellent too, with a powerful front disc and an easy-to-modulate rear drum. Show the SR125 a smooth set of roads and no scooter this side of the SR150 will put a wider grin on your face. But smooth roads are a few and far between and that's when the SR125 suffers. Just like its sibling, the rough roads bring out a very firm and jittery feeling from the front fork and that gets tiring. And it's this very characteristic of the SR brings us to the conclusion of this review.